Oh boy. Oh, got him. Oh, got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got one too. Oh, oh, jeez. Holy titties, it's windy out. You get one old Dangle? Oh, that's, that ain't a bad one. Nice work, Dangle. <laughs> All right, well, off to a good start. Come on. All right, now I'm beautiful. Yeah. Woo. What is up, guys? Welcome back. Back with the old man, back with the old Dangle. And we're out here trying to slay some kitties on a really, really windy day. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's super, super windy out here. We're doing some windy day catfishing. The two main factors that I like while catfishing. I don't even know if you guys will be able to hear me at all. But anyways, my two main factors that I like while catfishing are wind and rain. And it's a little bit too early in the year for the rain. Once the water heats up, then more of the rain aspect comes into play. But wind early in the year, cold waters is your number one go-to. So what we're out here doing, taking advantage of, we'll see if we can get some kitties. All right, they got a little bit of head start on me today. They've already wrangled up. There were four or five in here. I don't know. They just got here about 30 minutes ago. And as you guys can see, this windy cove is uh, definitely paying off. So like I said, they got a head start on me. I'm going to slip on the old waders because we uh, do have to get past the old weeds out here. I'm going to try to turn my back and do the best I can audio wise so you guys can hear me. Sometimes the elements just beat you out here. So I'm going to slip these on. All right, stay tuned while I struggle. <laughs> Woo! Looking cute. All right, here's what we're rolling with though. The old kitty secret, the old minnow balls. Getting a bunch of dead minnows, just piling them on here. You guys will see the destruction here. Not many anglers really use the minnow balls and I think everyone kind of underestimates them, but you guys are about to see here that they done do the trick out here especially for the old kitties. So this is a totally public lake. Get a lot of people asking me, oh, there's a lot of big catfish, things like that. And I always struggle. Literally go to the windy shore, use some minnow balls, local city pond, lake, anything like that. Throw on a big old thing of minnow balls and you'll be surprised at what you can catch. Yeah, it's a multi-species ball. Everything loves minnows, so you can't go wrong with it. Give her the yeet ski. All right, let's see if we can do this without finding a big old hole in the bottom. If I go down, at least y'all can watch. <laughs> it's getting a little tight, close to home down there. <laughs> Let the minnow ball do the rest of it from there. I mean, you don't really need waders, especially once it gets warmer in the year, you can just wait out and it almost feels nice, but it's a little chilly out. So we're rolling with the old waders today. Basically just kind of thumb it back. All right, good luck. So I showed you guys one, we're doing the same thing on all the rest down here. We got three more over here and basically we're just fishing right in the face of the wind, waiting for these kitties to come to life. That's the one thing I do like fishing with the minnows and the windy shore. You don't know what kind of fish you're gonna get. Yes, we're targeting kitties, but with the minnows, the windy shore it attracts all the fish and every fish loves minnows so kind of an all-around go-to so see if we can get on some fishies that's a fish come on cecil stay on there you still hungry oh yep he's on there he's on there got him oh he came up nope just kidding <laughs> got you both oh it's a bass it's a big bass i think so he came up to the top it is a bass that's not a bad bass well that's what the point I was making, anything likes the old minnow balls. And all the fish come up to the windy shore, so. 2.48. I said 2.5. You went. said 2.6. I said no, two I said 2.5. I, I said two and a half. Ah. Right. So how many pounds that's What? Hmm? We have to take how many pounds. That's a skinny fish. Well, then what are you? Fat. <laughs> all right, buddy. Be free. Go ahead. There you go. Later, little buddy. All right, well, not exactly our target species, but the wind, the minnow balls, try it sometime. Yeet. Just kind of thumb it back just like this. That way it's not too much slacked line that you can't tell if you have a bite or not. But you also want to make sure you're not dragging it and just getting weeds. To the old rod holder, we're good. You got one? A mermaid? Feels like it. Lord, I'm getting the shoulder working. Well, you also got a whole tree at the top of your line. I'm trying. <laughs> Jeez. I'm also going through <laughs> Not bad. Oh, it's actually a good cat. That's a that's a meaty cat right there. Good looking fish. That's pushing five. All right. Not bad for a loser. Oh yeah, right in the corner. I'm gonna get this one back out. All right, rolling with the minnow balls, walking her back out. Even her the heat. Little bit of work and effort put into it. You can have a real good day of fishing. Close the bail on these, let them set themselves. Let's weigh him, see what he is. I'm guessing, yeah, I was gonna say 4.6. Hey, my first kitty day. I guess you're the catfish expert. All right, hold on, pick him back up. <laughs> this scale's That's broken. a beautiful one pound fish you have there. <laughs> on, off, we zeroed. Let's try this again, I don't know what happened there. Oh, six. Six pounds, good. 5.98. All righty, that's a big boy. We're collecting them today, let me tell you. All right, see if we can get some more. I think you're full of it. No, it was bouncing, dude. You're in the spotlight. You uh, saw that. <laughs> All right, you might have been right. I'd let him take it with this cold water. We got these little circle hooks that still should get him right in the side of the mouth. They're just kind of lipping it and running with it. Dinger. Oh, yeah. No. 
Ah! Oh, wait. Yeah, we got him. You got him? We got him. Oh, you got a piss ant. Yes, I did. Oh, you got a bull head. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Dude, that is giant. Look at this bull head. Look at this dude. That's a Minnesota sized bull head. I was going to say, when you can lip a bull head like this, <laughs> we got to cook him. Look at the belly on that. 1.18. That's a heck of a flathead bait right there. Gonna add him to the collection. Good catch. Yeah. Monster bullet on the day. That was a freaking monster. Let's go for the biggins. That was the one I just casted out. Walk her back out here and give her the yeet. yeet. All right, let's try this again. All right, we're good. Good luck. Let's go for a giant. There's another one already. He's still on there. Come on, Skippy. Oh, there he is. He's still on here. Let's get some of this slack line out. There he goes, he just took a run. Got him. What the heck? This is another bullhead. What is? Oh, okay, there was a little bit of fight there. It's not massive, unless it's a different species other than a kitty. Unless he was swimming with me. Yeah, I got him. What is this guy? A lot of weeds and a Doink channel cat. A lot of weeds and not a lot of fish. I guess sometimes you just got to put up with the doinks as well as the big ones. Here's the big one. Right in the corner though. Still with this cold weather, they are not swallowing there. Another little kitty on the day. Rebait. Try her again. All right. Rebait. It's a bald eagle. America. Oh, he came to the top already. I saw him out there. Got him. He came to the top way out there. Oh, that one didn't take long. Little two pound, two and a half pounder guy. There's another good eater. Add him to the collection. You got another? Give him the yeet. Got him? Can't even keep all our rods in the water. No, he's on there. Oh, yeah. He's on there. So I'm telling you guys, this the windy shore. Right of us got hit too. This one? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it. Let me get this one real quick. We can't even keep up with the fish out here, especially walking the waders, let me tell you. That's what I'm saying, find that windy shore. Even early in the year, if they're up here feeding. Oh yeah, here he is. Nothing huge, I mean, that'd be a couple nuggets. Pretty good action out here. Not even gonna walk that far now that it's getting a little bit of darkness. They're probably gonna slide up shallow. <laughs> Call that good. Walk her back. All right, let the hook set itself, close the bail. Good luck. Oh, I was rebating this one. He just hammered it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh, got him. Oh. <laughs> All of a sudden, he said, giddy up. Yeah, it's a better one, I think. He's got a backbone to him. Unless he's got a bunch of moss on him. Not a bad kitty. Oh, he's a fatty. Perfect eating size. Golly, that's a chunker. Got it, funky. Here we go. Add him to the collection. Whew. A lot of kitties on the day. I'm going to grab my light. You just got hit? Yeah, big hit. All right, let me cast this one. Go. Let's give her the... You got him? All right, let me get this to yeet. yeet. They're sliding up shallower now with this dark weather. Wait, dark weather? I mean, darkness. Let's go see what he's got. Oh yeah, another decent feller. Pound and three quarter, maybe. Ah, two pounder. All right, here, I'll give him to you. Good catch, Skippy. Oh, you just casted that one? Yeah, just close to shore. All right, well, that's what I was just saying. I think with this darkness, they're kind of sliding up shallower and shallower. Shallow winner. Shallow in there. <laughs> Even with this darkness, the wind's still humming in. So I think that's our key. We get them windy days, them rainy days. Rainy days more so are kind of when the water's warmer. For the next uh, week or so, two weeks, wind's gonna be our best friend. And it can be yours too. Pretty good fishing, y'all should try it sometime. Take advantage of that windy shore. Try the middle balls. The middle balls work pretty good, but nothing else. We're gonna see if we can get one more fish. Hopefully he's a big one. Or something pretty cool. Unique, different species, I don't know. Oh, there's a fish. Slowly took it down like it was a, oh, oh, jeez. I got one too. You got one? Came off? This one just yeeted it. Got him. Dinger. Ooh. Okay. Did you get him in or no? I got this one. Careful, I got this rod. I just rebaited this one. Didn't even get a chance to throw it out yet. Oh yeah, he's already at the top. Oh, perfect eater size. Nice and fat. Nice two and a quarter probably. Nice fat guy. How big was yours that came off? Not huge, I don't think. Not huge. Get back over there. Wagga bam. All right, add him to the collection. Oh, jeepers. Hook that one up. We had to retire that one. We can't even keep them all in the water. We're sliding up shallow. We don't even have to wait out here. Sorry, you guys fell down a little bit. We're just casting them from here and it's doing the trick. I don't even know if I'm gonna put all these fish in the video, but as you guys can see, this wind and the minnow balls. Y'all definitely gotta try it sometime. All right, try again. Go back to the middle ball, do it all over again. Pretty sure this one just got annihilated. 
Oh, yep, there we go. Here, you want him? Take him. Oh, yeah. You felt that, though? Oh, I got him. Danger. I was gonna say, I saw him do a couple torques with it. There's a ton of them just stacked back in here on this windy shore. Oh, yeah. About the same size as the last couple. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect eater, guys. Beautiful fish. They're pushing up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just put both these back out. I can barely keep them out. These size five or size six circle hooks really work pretty nifty on these channel cats. All right, there we go. Add them to the collection of a ton of kitties. In the live well. In the live well they go. They're playing in there. That's a ton of kitties. I'm surprised the wind's still blowing this much at night. Back to the old ball of the minnows. You guys can see the destruction of the old minnow balls at a public lake just fishing the shore you can do a lot better if you specify the days that you go out i mean you have one good day like this it can account for 20 days that are medium go out when you find those real windy days fish that windy shore it'll save you some time and effort from going out all the time with not great conditions all right oh that one just got that one right there that one right there yeah oh, I missed you had one? Oh, there it is there it is i haven't even got this one back out yet 100 percent fish oh yeah, i saw it oh he hammered it you still getting them down there too? Yeah, it wasn't a big one. I'm gonna get this one out in the meantime. You wanna try him? Got him? Nope. No? Dropped it. Yeah, that's, we've had a couple that are just kind of lipping with it. All right. All right, I lied when I said we were gonna get one more. Let's try to get at least one more. One more. Freaking heated. And then I talk that about- son of a gun. Hammered oh, got him. Jeepers. This one might be a little bit better. Freaking hammered it, that's for sure. That's a good one. No, I think he's bigger than that. A fatty for a channel cat. That's a fat boy right there. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a real nice one. That's a chunky boy. Right in the corner. All right, what are we saying? We'll go three nine. Three nine on the dot. Three nine on the dot. Go join the collection. I keep saying one more, we might as well keep going. Just, I gave my dad my sweatshirt and this thing is parallel with the water. Oh, yep, he's on here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You see the rod? It was parallel with the water. Might be big fish of the day right here, the way he took it out of the rod holder. How'd the sweatshirt fit? Tight. <laughs> Come on, Skippy. A little more lively, a little more poundage. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, he's a good one. Yeah. Real good one. Five. Uh, he's more than that, I think. Oh yeah, he's way bigger than five. That's a good one. Yeah. Real good one. That's about nine. That's a chunk. Let's weigh this one. I'd say six and a half, seven. Oh, oh no. That is a, uh, no, that's seven and three quarter. No, he's eight and a half, watch. He's eight and a half. Oh, that's a beauty. Uh, that's, that's I'm a telling you right down. now. Eight and a half, fellas. Get one. Oh yeah, he's pulling. There's a good one. Seven. Oh yeah, this is 8.32. Wow, nice. Told you guys. What is it? 8.32. I told you. Oh, you got one? That's a big one. Oh, yep, he's gonna make me pay for it. Come on, bud. All right. Big boys are moving up. Oh, yeah. You got one? Yeah, he's not that great. I don't got my waders on anymore. He had the, uh... Jeez, you yeeted him. You done? Unhooked? Yep. Okay, that's a nice fatty. Three pounder probably. He's talking. What up, guys? Hit that subscribe button. All right, add him to the collection. I'm gonna get these guys some water. Now, that is a catfish frenzy right there. Woo, it's a good night out here. Doinker or a decent one? He's not big. They're just freaking sliding up shallow. I don't know if you guys can really see out here. That one might not even be. Oh, is that it's the, the bullhead? It's the Hold bullhead. on, hold on. Let me see this, dude. You are the bullhead king. Dude, that's another freaking slob bullhead. That's a toad is what you call oh, that. That's two bullhead on the day. You got the bullhead touch. I am the bullhead czar. You need to go flatty fishing. Fatty. That yeah. is a bullhead right there. All right, all right, boys. Should we uh, look at the destruction today? How many we got? Oh boy, that's a lot of fishies right there. Windy day catfishing, that's what it'll do right there. Got a little feller, or a big feller down here. Look at that. That's some good eating. Good work, boys, good work. 16 fish. Good work, old man. Oh, baby. Heck yeah, that's big chungus right there. Woo! All right, guys, that goes to show. Even in the cold water, cold weather, windy day Pokemon it really comes to life. Try it sometime, get out there. Try that windy shore, use the minnow balls, and um, yeah, it was a show. You can have a big old slaughter fest, so I know you guys probably can't see me. I hope you guys could hear enough during this video. I know it's super, super windy, but that's what uh, produced all these fish. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we got a bunch more adventures coming for you. We'll catch you next time. Peace. That's flathead candy right there. Oh, yeah. Fill in the freezer.
That's a chunk. Oh boy. Good work. Good work, old man.